Irish Shaders for Minecraft 1.21.1. Let's go ahead and jump on into it. First things first, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below. And this is our official guide for getting Irish Shaders. By the way, Irish Shaders is uh, similar to Optifine Shaders, except it provides a lot better performance and is usually updated a lot faster than Optifine. Nonetheless, once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on the Download Irish Shaders button to go to Iris's official download page. On this page, you want to go ahead and click this Download Universal Jar link here, and after a few seconds, the download will begin. You may need to keep or save it. While this is downloading, how much from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below to break down the next YZ says SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, or mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out if you have any issues along the way. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz slash sgh to start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and once our shaders is installed, download shader packs. Shader packs are what actually allow shaders to be in Minecraft. Basically, the shader mod activates shader packs and there are tons of different shader packs out there. We have a list in the description of some of the most popular and some of the best ones out there. We're going to go ahead and grab Makeup Ultra Fast Shaders here. That's one of my favorites. And then we'll also grab, let's see, Complementary Shaders. And then Vanilla Plus Shaders should be right here. These are amazing shader packs. Now, there's two primary places you'll download shader packs from. The first is CurseForge. And as you can see here, Vanilla Plus Shaders is on CurseForge. Click on Files. Find the 1.20 version. 1.20 shader packs and even older shader packs can and will work in Minecraft 1.21.1 without any issue and that's the case here with vanilla plus shaders so we can click the three dots and click download file and the download will begin after a few seconds you may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser and the other place that you will very commonly see shader packs is Moderinth. Moderinth is a super popular site now for downloading shader packs as you can see there's tons of them on here and that's where we'll be getting complimentary shaders from click on versions here make sure you're downloading the most recent version in this case that is 1.21.1 one, but again, if it was a little older, that'd probably be okay. Click the download button and click save there. And then last but not least, we have Makeup Ultra Fast, which is the same process because it's on CurseWords. Go to Files, find that most recent version, click the three dots, and click Download File, and then keep or save it. Now, the hard part's honestly done. We just need to install Iris Shaders now. Getting all these downloads takes the longest when it comes to getting shaders. So if we minimize our browser here, we can go ahead and move everything we downloaded to our desktop. That's the Iris Shaders mod, as well as all of our shader packs. Complimentary, Makeup Ultra Fast, and Vanilla Plus Shaders. To install Iris Shaders, right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Well, if you don't have Java, it's because you need to get Java 21. And by the way, if you do have Java, click OK, it doesn't work. Yeah also need Java 21. That's because as a Minecraft 1.21, you need Java 21 in order to use Minecraft mods like Irish Shaders. Luckily, this is an in-depth guide on getting Java 21, and you may also need to run the jar fix after you get Java. Basically, this will take jar files like Irish Shaders and link them back to Java, making them work together. Now, let's go ahead and minimize our browser. Right-click on Irish Shaders, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK, and it will go ahead and open up the Iris installer. All I've got to do here is make sure 1.21.1 is selected, Make sure that Iris is checked and then click install. When you do, it's now going to complete and install Iris. The only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed and make sure that you played Minecraft 1.21.1 before. Otherwise, this won't work. But it has worked in this case. Iris is installed. Now what we want to do is play Minecraft using our Iris shaders installation. To do that, you'll open up the Minecraft launcher and then go to installations up at the top of the Minecraft launcher right here. Then make sure modded is checked. As you can see, if modded is not checked, there's no Iris shaders. When you check it, there it is. And when you've got Iris shaders, you can go ahead and play Minecraft with it, which is what we're going to do here. As you can see, Iris and Sodium, go ahead and click play. Now, it is worth noting you may want to change your resolution. I'm just doing that so you can see what you get better in game. But if you're normally used to playing in full screen or something like that, you might want to go ahead and get that set up there. That way, once you get in game, it's good to go. You can also make it full screen later. But just wanted to note that. And once we are in Minecraft, it's actually really, really easy to install our shader packs from here. To do that, you want to go to Options from the Minecraft main menu, then click on Video Settings. And instantly, you'll notice this is very different. Go to Shader Packs here up at the top, and we'll be able to add our shaders here. To do that, just drag and drop your shaders from your desktop into your Shader Packs folder, right like so. If for whatever reason, dragging and dropping them into this Shader Packs menu doesn't work, you can click Open Shader Pack folder in the bottom left and move them into the folder. But either way, as long as shaders show up right like so in-game, you're good to go. To activate them, click on a Shader Pack and click Apply. 
The only other thing that's worth noting on this page is in the bottom right, you have shader pack settings. This is where you can change the different default profiles as well as individual things like lighting and atmosphere and camera. So much stuff can be changed here. Every shader pack is different with what can be changed, but in this case, changing the profile to potato would allow a lowering computer to be able to run complementary shaders better than it would on a high or ultra setting. Nevertheless, once you've set everything up here, you can click apply and we can jump in game and our shaders will be active. Shaders are a 100% local mod, meaning you don't need to install them on servers or anything like that in order for them to work and be able to be used on servers. So we can join the simple game hosting server here with Iris shaders and it'll just work even though this is just a vanilla Minecraft server. Something else worth noting is when you first load in with shaders, it can take a second to load in and you might get like a not responding, things like that. That's perfectly normal. But as you can see here, shaders is active. The crops are blowing in the wind. You can actually change shader packs in game. If we go into options and then video settings and shader packs, we can change these right here in game. We can go to make up ultra fast shaders in this case as you can see the shading is a bit different the clouds are a bit different the lighting is a bit different things are different between these shader packs and it's really going to be noticeable when we switch over to vanilla plus shaders because this shader pack doesn't really have a ton of shading in it it's about to be a very light shader pack the clouds are supposed to look more like vanilla minecraft things like that but you can see there is still some shading there and the crops are blowing in the wind so there you have it that's how you can get shaders in minecraft 1.21 if you've got any questions let us know in the comment section down below and we will try our best to help you out we'll see you in the next video and i'm out peace